Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. So you know what time it is, it's review time. And I'll be doing that pink bubble bag from Nadine West. Okay everybody, if you're new here, my name is Shakima, welcome back to our channel. Um, I am a monthly reviewer for the online subscription Nadine West. And if you're unfamiliar with Nadine West, I am gonna leave a link in the description box. What it is, is it's an online clothing subscription bag. And what you do is you go online, you take a brief quiz, and from that quiz, they will put together your style. You answer lots of questions like, what colors would you wear? What fashions do you like? Do you like long sleeves? Do you like short sleeves? Different questions like that. And then they create your profile. From your profile, one of the Nadine West stylists will style you and then they will send you items in your little pink bag that looks like this and you will get to look at your items. They will not charge you for anything that you do not love. If you do not love an item, what you're going to do is put it back into the bag. They send you a return mailing label that you put on the front of your bag. So it goes here and then you send them back. So let's get into this bag and see what Nadine West has sent us this month. Okay, so a couple of things that come in the bag every time. The first thing that you get is your return mailing label. If there's something in this bag that I do not like, I'll put this on the front of the pink bubble bag. I'll put the items back into the bag that I am not appreciating, feeling, loving and then I just send them back to the company. Because I am a reviewer and they only ask for my honest review, I do not make anything from Nadine West. This is not a sponsored video. They do send the items. I do give them honest feedback in my review. The next thing that you get is you get an invoice slip and it tells you what you're going to get in the bag. So this bag has me getting two tops, a bottom, a dress, some earrings, a necklace, and a bracelet. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's seven items, and this looks like a very small package. This is probably one of the smallest ones I've gotten, so we'll see how that works out. But this is what my invoice looks like, and it will tell you everything you got and then what the prices are. So again, the prices are not terribly bad, the dress is $29.99. I mean, if you go to any store, if you go to any store right now, you're going to pay $29.99 for a dress. So the prices are not bad. I'm going to open up this bag and see what we have in here. As per usual, everything comes in a plastic bag. And then everything is wrapped up in the signature pink tissue paper with the Nadine West uh, sticker affixed to the front and it's in two separate packages this time so let's see what we get hmm this looks like the dress okay oh that's cute this is a uh, flower print it's black it does seems like a lot of their um, shirts and dresses has this little detail in the front where it's like the cross hatch in the front but it's short sleeves it looks longer than the last one I got this is in a size medium the material feels nice so it does feel like a nice material I'm gonna put that over to the side then I have and I just did a, uh, a vlog on trying to get away from my black but Seems like this is the months. Um, this is kind of an A-line shirt with the applique here in the front, a little detail. This is also short sleeved and it comes down into the points on the side. It does look a little bit see-through so I probably will have to wear a cami underneath this. So we'll see how that works out. The next little bag that I have Okay, this I like, just looking at it. 
but it is a bit thin. So this is a top. Looks like it's a cold shoulder or an off the shoulder actually. Short sleeve, rounded bottom, but it has like ribbing. The detail in the shirt is a little ribbed. So that's different. I've not received anything that looks like that. Oh, um, indeed. <laughs> so here's some little shorts. These are cute. They're very cute, but they are shorts and I am not a short girl. So we will see what this looks like. Um, it does have the little bow tie in the front, which I do like that detail. And um, man, hmm, it has like a, um, I'm really trying to make it have like a, a lining in it, but it does not have a lining. So we're going to have to see how this one plays out, y'all. You know how I am with my modestness. So we'll have to see about those shorts. Uh, probably my favorite all time is how they package their jewelry. Their jewelry comes in these pretty little pink bags. And this time I have a bracelet. I have a pair of silver earrings. And there is a necklace in here. So let's open this and see. Oh, this is pretty. It's thin, but it has the gold, it's a gold leaf. And I do like that um, detail in the leafing and it's thin. So of course the chain is not substantial, but it's just, it's not real jewelry. So I don't ever go into it thinking that it's gonna be, you know, real the things I wear on a normal basis come from Walmart. So in comparison, it meets this, the expectation of what I would be wearing it for. Here are the earrings. They're silver. So now I would not mix metals unless the whole piece was a mixed metal piece. So I'm going to actually have to um, probably pull a few of my own jewelry pieces. And then here is the um, bracelet. This probably would be my fave if it were in like a wood tone, but this feels like, kind of feels like pearl, pearlesque, but I know that's not what it is, but the weight of it, it's a little bit heavy, but that's not bad. So I do like that. So let me give this a try on and see what we think. Okay, you guys, so there it is. I tried on the dress and the two tops, but I did not show the shorts. They were just a little bit shorter than my comfort level. Nothing wrong with them. They were just shorter than my comfort level. So to keep me from embarrassing myself on camera, I chose to not show the shorts. Um, I do like the tied bow in the front of the shorts. I really did. And I think if it were 
either a little bit longer or it had a lining inside it would have helped me be a little bit more comfortable so again it goes back to my personal comfort level in shorter pieces i just have no comfort level for them as with any of the outfits that i tried on the dress when i initially started to put it on i was not loving the pattern because i thought this was a little bit older than what i would wear now however when i started to put the jewelry pieces together and then i put the nude shoes with it i felt better in that outfit i do love anything with pockets so i'm gonna work with that one it's a medium and it fit really well i didn't feel like i was squeezed any kind of way so i am going to work with that piece the tops no problem i just style both of those with a pair of white linen pants that i had in my closet because i really didn't have anything else that might go really really well or give a summertime vibe but i did like both of the shirts probably out of the two the brown was my favorite because it has that curved bottom all the way uh, around the base of the shirt the black has the uh, points on the side and so of course it leaves kind of my front and my bottom a little bit uncovered but my sides are covered so again that goes down to back to comfort level i still do have the black top on and i do have a cami underneath because again that's just my comfort level the jewelry pieces were very very lovely i did like the gold uh, leaf that is a very nice and soft piece. I think that can be styled with multiple things. With this black top that I'm wearing now, I have lots of jeans and some heels that will go lovely with it. The shoes that I'm styling this with actually came from, they came from my favorite consignment shop. I paid $1, they were brand new. They're a pair of Cosmopolitan wedges. So I do love these wedges. Um, I love this outfit. I love linen pants. And so, of course, they went really well with the linen pants. So, that's my open and honest review. I've never really, I've never sent anything back, but I do think I'm going to send the shorts back this time because, again, they were just not my comfort level. Some pieces I have to work with a little bit, and then I have to style some of my pieces with them as well. But here's the thing about any subscription that you, you know, purchase. I had to go back in after my third or fourth bag and i had to make some changes to my profile colors styles i added in silver pieces because i really like silver pieces more than gold pieces and as i made those adjustments different things started to come in the bag not every piece they send goes together for me some of the pieces that they send i style with my pieces you just have to know your personal style so anyway that's my open and honest review of this month's nadine west bag i was trying to get away from the blacks but here it is and i think they all work very well uh, the dress is probably going to be an evening time wear because black during the summer in north carolina mm. but it is short so that does help. So if you're interested at all in the Nadine West uh, monthly subscription, I am going to leave that link in the description box below. I've never had any negative experiences with them, with the bags, when I've you know, chatted with someone via emails. They've always been very cordial with me. There's some things you don't like. You can always make changes. That's your preference. You can say, hey, I like this bag this month, but I don't want to do it as a subscription. You can try it for a couple of months. You cannot try it at all. Just go on and do the quiz and see, you know, what your style is. But again, I've not had any issues with any of the things that I have uh, been sent and reviewed. There are some things that I initially would not have chosen for myself but it has caused me to step out of my box a little bit and i'm able to put my creativity together with their creativity and, and make something work for shakima so anyway thank you so much for stopping by our channel if you like this video give it a thumbs up it just says hey we like your video if you're new around here hit the red subscribe button we love to keep you as a part of our youtube community also hit the little bell that way you never miss an upload from us thank you so much for stopping by our channel for this month's nadine review bag and until next review bye now